And that's wrong. It's all wrong. I mean, it wasn't really a thought in my mind that, like, oh, this, this girl, like, could be in some sort of danger or she was being, like, preyed on or anything like that. Cause, the yeah, conversation was not about George. The conversation was about him. And it was about the underage drinking. And it wasn't ever about whether or not Katie, you know, it was it was always just about him and not George. This is about my story and the stories of all the other people who have been silenced. How you doing? How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. I know this is a wild throwback to my old content, but we're going a little bit. Over these past couple of weeks, some pretty crazy news has come out about the Minecraft community. Mainly allegations coming out about Wilbur Soot and a couple other Minecraft YouTubers as well, but we'll get into those ones later. As a matter of fact, we have so many allegations coming out against the Minecraft community that we might as well just throw out the entire community. Like, I'm not even sure how this scene is going to look in the next couple weeks, but we will see. Every single situation here that we are about to talk about is liquid, so you might end up seeing some of the things we talk about change quite a bit. As everything we are about to talk about within this video is just allegations and nothing more because no proof has come out about any of the things that have been said. With that being said, it is not looking good for anyone involved with any of these situations. We have allegations coming out against Wilbur. We have some dude named Sapnap, which honestly we're barely gonna touch. And then we have the big one. We have the elephant in the room. George not found. Almost every single Minecraft YouTuber on the planet, which I'm not, clearly I'm not gonna talk about all of them. It's too ridiculous right now. Sorry if I sound nasally, by the way. I'm a little under the weather. First, we're gonna go into the Wilbur stuff because it's the first in the timeline. So what even happened here? An allegation came out from a streamer known as Shovel against Wilbur So Basically going over the fact that he was a little bit of a, of a biter one might say. He was just kind of going around biting people. But to Shovel specifically, it was getting to a point where it was abusive, which is, um, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> that's a, that's an absurd level of biting. And overall, how he was just kind of a shitty boyfriend, which didn't affect everyone else, but the biting most definitely did, as it was something that a lot of people were complaining about, and he apparently was just going around biting people at random, so. Uh, he had this habit of biting which is so weird to me now, but he said that he had had this habit since he was a kid and even his mom said that that was true. Someone's gotta get this guy checked out for rabies because that's, that's not normal. On top of that, there was another allegation that came out against him that might be alluding to some SA going on over there, but we haven't heard anything about that because of another story that we are about to talk about as it has sucked up the attention of just about everyone and has completely left the Wilbur Soot situation in the dust. Instantly when this dropped, the internet turned on him he made a really, really bad response, and then he just vanished. And then we have the Sapnap stuff, which I would sit here and explain this whole thing to you, but honestly, it's such a nothing burger, and literally nothing happened. Long story short, he got cucked by Dream or something like that. I really don't care. Then we have the George Not Found stuff, and this is where things get really 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 messy and that's because everyone involved with this story is contradicting the shit out of each other including the accuser katie bugs i've genuinely never seen a situation get to this point of just being an absolute mess none of what is being said it makes any sense and everyone is dancing around everything katie bugs came out with her allegation a couple days after shovel did directly citing her as the reason she is coming out with this which is actually a little ironic. Her allegation was that George knowingly and willingly gave her alcohol while she was underage because Katie is 19 and at the time of this story she was 18. And I need to preface this, she was 18 during this entire thing. She was not a minor, she just wasn't able to drink legally. I have to preface that because I know a lot of people are coming into this story thinking that he is a groomer of some sort. He is not. Katie Bugs claims that during the last year's TwitchCon, she got her hands on a 21 plus badge, met up with Dream and George, hung out with them, had a at a drinking party. By the way, they did not know who she was at this time, so keep that in mind as well. She starts talking with George, they start drinking, one thing leads to another, and now they're cuddling on a couch for hours. During the course of this, allegedly, George goes under the shirt 
quote unquote, which could actually mean anything, but no one is saying what it means. And that's the entire allegation. You can see how this has become a mess. George has already released a statement on this, which was not good. It was pretty bad, but it contradicts a lot of the things that Katie said. And I know that allegations and word of mouth are not proof of anything. Not only has George made some pretty questionable statements that go against what Katie is saying here, but so have her friends because they have come out and muddied the waters as well. The worst part about this entire thing is the story has changed so much over the past couple days. How, while this story was coming out, it was changing by the hour. There have been so many inconsistencies being brought up against Katie's story that it's almost laughable that she even brought this to the public, as her friends that were there have told entirely different events, including the fact that they were already drunk when they got there, which is backed by George. Like, don't get a 21 plus badge if you're not 21 plus. That's a, that's asking for trouble. Why would you ever do that? The massive issue with all of this is George has admitted fault, not for actually doing any of the things that have been alleged against him, but for making Katie feel the way she does. In his response, he constantly goes back and forth, basically trying to disprove Katie, but also bring her up and make her seem like the hero of the story. So it, it's muddied the waters like near entirely. On top of that, we also had like Dream come out on a Twitter space, just crying, bawling his eyes out over this entire situation, trying to make it about himself, which he usually does when it comes down to Minecraft drama or whatever. But I care. <laughs> Sorry. I care about people. He's got to get a PR team because he just cannot help himself. And this has been like the biggest thing on the internet for like the past two weeks, by the way. When this was coming out, it was completely insane how many Twitter posts there were coming out after George. Like we don't even get this for like political crap, like things that are important to the country. Now we only get that for Minecraft drama. It really only comes down to the vapid community and fan base that these guys have built up because if they didn't have that minecraft fan base none of this would matter like these guys have been getting death threats non-stop for like the past three weeks over this crap and none of it's been proven by the way again you know because they're allegations let this be a uh, testimony to all people who want to become a minecraft youtuber don't do it there's not a point <laughs> paying the minecraft tax is not worth it because if someone says you did something wrong Without any proof brought to the table, they will be coming after your head. Honestly, this entire situation could have been handled behind closed doors. No one needed to know about this, and they probably both could have kept their careers. Because Katie Bugs isn't coming out of this unscathed, because she just lied about it, literally everything. And if she didn't, she didn't bring enough proof. And George has completely lost almost everything. He's been cut from Mr. Beast's advertisements. He has lost sponsors over this, and I'm almost positive... You know, the Dream SMP is in absolute shambles right now over this whole situation. The funniest part is, like, Katie's in the wrong for all of the things that have come out. Not only did she lie about her age, not only did she lie about when she started drinking, but she also rode the coattails of an actual abuse allegation that has some backing to it, only to get outed by her friends and the accused. All she actually accomplished during this story was taking away eyeballs from Shovel's abuse case, which is probably the worst part about this entire thing. Anyways, if you like this video, please go ahead and leave a like. Please go ahead and subscribe because that would be really cool. And comment if you want to comment. Let me know what you think. I know the video is a little different, but hey, gotta do what we gotta do. And I know you're thinking, hey, this isn't Sunday. This is this day. Well, that's because of my community posts. I've been talking about doing daily uploads, which are going to kind of look a lot more like this, but eventually I will add the green screen just because it's nice, it's comfortable, and I like having um, gameplay in the background, so that way I can keep your guys' attention span for more than 15 seconds. And my own too, because I edit these videos, and when I do, I get real bored with it. I will no longer be doing drama content on Sundays unless a drama calls for it, but then we'll have a double upload. The schedule is going to look something along the lines of this, where we have wacky content on Sundays, and then whatever drama related thing happens will come out whenever I can get it out. So expect more content, and I hope to God you guys actually enjoy this. And hey, if you haven't already, please go check out this video here because I thought it was pretty good and it is the second installment of Dystopia. So, um, yeah, go, go check that out. Shout out to all my members, Magic, Harley, Kenna, 
Grandpa IX, and myself for being the silliest geese of them all. Sorry, that pause was not like supposed to be that dramatic. I had a burp coming. The silly geese right now are pitchforking and rioting against the entire Minecraft community. So if you want in on that, it's only $5 a month. So go ahead and check that out. And if you do, you get all the listed benefits right here on this list. So you should do that. Like right now.